Hi everyone, let's provide a solution to this problem here. Okay, let's go. Okay, so we we have x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 2 equals 80. Okay, so what do we do first? Let's see if 80 can exist in this form. Yes, I think it can because 80 is the same thing as 64 plus 16. And that means that 80 is the same as 4 to the power of 3 plus 4 to the power of 2. And that will exist in this form already. So we write our x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 2 to be equal to 64 plus 16. Then x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 2 is equal to 4 to the power of 3 will come down here plus 4 to the power of 2. So that if we equate the we will now reposition them so that x to the power of 3 minus 4 to the power of 3 will come together. Then we have plus x squared minus 4 squared together so that everything is equal to 0. Then from here, what do I do? Here we have difference of 2 cubes and there we have difference of 2 squares. So that if we proceed, imagine that you have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3. This is difference of 2 cubes and it is a minus b into a squared plus ab plus b squared. Difference of 2 cubes. a minus b now is going to be x minus 4 into a squared, that will be x squared. ab is x times 4, and that is 4x, plus b squared, which will be 4 squared, and that is 16. Then plus the difference of two squares, and that will be, you know, we have um, x minus 4 into x plus 4. So we close this and equate to 0 so that x minus 4 here becomes the common factor. Here we have x squared plus 4x plus 16 then plus x minus 4 is already here. So here now we have x plus 4 then we equate to 0. So that if we go ahead now, our x minus 4 will be here. Then here we have x squared plus 4x plus 16 plus x plus 4. Everything is 0. So x minus 4 still comes down into x squared plus 4x plus x is 5x plus 16 plus 4 is 20 then we lock this and equate to 0 now when we multiply these two we are getting 0 so it's either one of them is 0 okay one of them must be equal to 0 so let's say that x minus 4 is equal to 0 first so our x will now be 0 plus 4, and then our x is 4. This is one of the solutions. Then let's get the other solutions from here, where we have x squared plus 5x plus 20. We will now equate to 0 to get the quadratic equation. So from here now, we will use the formula, but the formula has a, which will be 1, the coefficient of x squared, b, which will be 5, and c, which will be 20, the constant, the con 
stand right now our x is equal to minus b plus or minus one and a half the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a so let's put it um put this value of from um, the values of abc into the formula right away so x will now be minus 5 plus or minus the square root of b squared which will be 5 squared now then minus 4 times times 1 times 20 divided by 2 times 1 so our x will now be minus 5 plus or minus the square root of 5 squared is 25 minus 4 times 1 times 20 is 80 then this is divided by 2 times 1 okay that should have given us 2 already now let's continue with that over here okay okay so our x will now be minus 5 plus or minus before we had um, 25 minus 80 so it's over here 25 minus 80 so i will write that as minus um 55 so we have minus 55 divided by 2 so we proceed to get x equals right we have minus 5 plus or minus square root of 55 multiplied by square root of negative 1 over 2 and this is because 55 is not a perfect square so now our x is minus 5 plus or minus square root of um, negative 1 is i then multiply it by square root of 55 as we divide by 2 so our x is equal to minus 5 plus i root 55 over 2 over 2 or we have minus 5 minus i root 55 over 2 but one thing you must know is that um this is you know we have two more solutions to so we have one more solutions right take a look at that we had x to be equal to 4 and x again to be to be this or this so we're having three solutions for the equation thank you for watching subscribe to my channel so you can get more of my videos